Hey, hi, I am Shorya. I am the founder of Flam. Uh, it's an AI powered 3D content company. So we are essentially optimizing on democratizing 3D content creation and 3D content consumption on the smartphones. There is a very small story and more than a story, it's a logic. So flam as a word means deception or uh, tricking something. So AI and 3D essentially is all about and AR is all about tricking the reality, deceiving the reality and hence the flam world. Yes, yeah, so I think one of my favorite movies uh, growing up was Harry Potter and one of the first products we ever developed and like scaled uh, and then people used to call that it's a Harry Potter stuff, right? So when you build something which you thought was magical, I think that's, that's the main thing. I think it's a very interesting question. Uh, I think co-founders should always be friends because sometimes more than just the idea and the vision and all of that in between, you build for your friends, right? Because that friendship keeps you going. So I think the first company and probably the largest company that you wish to create should be with your friends, very close friends from, from college, school, whatever. Uh, and I think what wanted me to start a company was looking at our seniors from college. So I had my seniors who built Swiggy and, and uh, who built uh, Big Basket and Red Bus. So when you meet such people, you basically understand the impact that these companies have created. I think that was very motivating. I think uh, from the first meeting itself, like I, I met one of the partners in the Bay Area and then I met a partner in, in Dubai and then a couple of partners here in, in Bangalore. The whole uh, excitement about this space is something which motivated a lot about the 3D space, about because it's all very early. It's like internet in 1998 when nobody believed that you will watch a movie on internet, right? I mean, you can buy a CD and put it in your, in your CD player. So when you can see the vision as much as the founder does, and if you're equally excited, I think, and then in, in all of these three, four meetings I had, the partners were equally participating in the conversation of how the future will look like. So I think that's very exciting. And I also saw certain uh, strategic uh, places where TurboSat can add a lot of value from revenue perspective, partnerships perspective. So I think all of that was very exciting.